Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be taking a look at how we can add CSS frameworks to our React application. In particular, we'll be adding this framework called Balma. It's an open source CSS framework which is used by over 200,000 developers worldwide. So let's get started. Alright guys, in the previous video, we went through how to kickstart a React app and we also checked out on all the different files and folders that you get out of the box with Create React App Toolchain. So, to revisit them, you get all of these files. We did a bit of cleanup in the files here. And in this video, what we'll be looking at is how can we add a CSS framework to our React app. So this will greatly simplify things because CSS frameworks usually offer a lot of uh, flexibility in terms of how we can structure our apps. And it also comes with out of the box components that we can use directly in our React apps. So in this project, what we are going to build is a to-do list application. And we are going to use the CSS framework called Balma. And this will greatly simplify things. And you would see why Balma is a great option for a lot of your front-end projects. So to go through what Balma offers, let's actually visit Balma's homepage. And we can see that it's a CSS framework, it's free, it's open source, and it is also providing a lot of ready to use front end components. And we can build responsive web interfaces. So, all of this is really key in this kind of age where people visit websites not only on their desktops but also mobile and even iPads and other tablet and all kinds of uh, device screen sizes so to get started what we're going to see so to get started what we're going to do is firstly install Balma and to do that we are going to go back into our terminal our application is still running we're going to quit that with a control plus C and now we're going to put here as what you're going to use is that if you're using npm, you can use npm install balma space dash s and you can press enter and this will install balma. The other way you can add balma is to use yarn. So if you're using yarn, it's going to be simply yarn add balma. So let's go ahead and do that. So once I have added this, it's going to take a while and okay, we are done. So what we will see is that in our um, editor these two files will be modified so if you go into here we can see that there's going to be one modification which is on this line which, is, which has added Balma into our list of dependencies so like I mentioned package.json helps us to keep track of the dependencies that our project needs to run so now that we have added the dependency it's going to be inside of a node modules folder but we still have not added it into our code so the entry point for a react application lies in the app.js file so i'm going to go there and i'm going to enter import and instead of using a relative path so for example if i put like this this will actually look for the current directory and look for a file in the current directory so instead of that i'm going to actually use the module um, imported from a module that we have just installed so i'm going to key in balma and slash there's three different things you can import here so css folder ss folder and a file package.json so i'm going to go into css and i'm going to key in balma.min.css so how do i know this exists so i've done a lot of projects so i do know that so but if you're uh, keen to check out what are the files we get along with balma you can actually simply go into this folder let's look for balma and we are going to look at balma here and uh, we can see a css folder and there's a couple of files here so the main file that we are interested in is this dot css and dot min css um, you can use both but of course you would like to keep your package size as small as possible because this css file is going to be loaded in your uh, application so you want to keep it as minimal as possible so min dot min dot css simply means that css is already minified right that means it's removing all the extra spaces everything is minim minimal and it's really compressed and compact so once that is done well, let's go ahead and kickstart our app again so yarn start so our app has started but we are not going to see any changes because we have not done any changes so that's how we add balma into our application 
and next let's go ahead and use some features of Palma right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the entire thing here and I'm going to actually create a div with a class name of container and inside that container I'm going to say div class name columns and inside the columns I'm going to have a few columns here yeah? so first column and I'm going to use the h1 with the class name of title and then I'm going to put here my to-do list so don't worry if you don't really understand what's going on I'm going to explain it really step by step I'm creating a container here which contains different columns and this is the first column so if I want multiple columns I'm going to add a couple of columns here so let's to demonstrate how, what it looks like so columns is basically it's actually following the grid system right so if you actually go into Balma's documentation so you can already see we have created three different columns and each of them just say the same thing my to-do list my to-do list my to-do list right how this works is because Palma actually uses something called the grid and if you actually take a look at this layout you can see we have actually used a container so that's where we are placing our child uh, children objects in so columns and then we have also used columns so actually if we take a look at the basics of what columns offer we have different columns so think of it as a row and each of in each row there can be multiple columns right so that's exactly what we have done so the main difference that you would see in this kind of code um, in uh, on the documentation and in our code is that we're using not class but we're using class name to actually write our code why is this because in JavaScript the name class is a restricted keyword right you can create class objects uh, using this keyword and to prevent the confusion what we are using is class name so everything that you write every all the HTML classes you have to use class name instead so that's what we have done here so here we have actually created a to-do list with three columns but we don't need two uh, three columns so I'm going to just delete this in here we can see this uh, to-do list but it's really good looking super plain so what we can do is to add CSS right so inside this class name app so I have imported this app.css which also which gives the styling for the entire application here so inside here I'm going to delete all of this because we have removed all of the elements here and I'm going to save that and I'm going to add a few properties right so in the height let's say it's going to be 100 vh what we are going to do is that a uh, height of 100 view height right so if you can see what it means is that it will take the entire height that it's available to the view so that's what is basically saying and um, that's one and we also want to add some kind of color it's really bland so I'm going to add a background color so let's say we can add a blue color so there we go Okay, so we've added blue color as the background and then we also want to um, have this text in white so for that Balma also offers a lot of utility classes so for example in this class name we can actually specify what exactly the color needs to be so there's a utility cl class called has text white and that's about it and now our uh, our uh, text is white so another thing we want to do is to it's really at the edge of the top so I'm going to push it down so to do that I'm going to add a padding uh, top so I can add let's say I'm going to add like 2 EM right EM is responsive unit so by adding that kind of padding we have already pushed our title down a bit so that's great I hope this react series is really useful to all of you and do give me a thumbs up below and subscribe for more upcoming content catch you guys in the next video